you know he's interested everything about him comes alive when you walk into the room when you text he texts you back straight away but he's a little bit cold and distant when it comes to dating he's not really moving anything forward the needle is exactly where it was you are confused you're thinking to yourself what's going on am i gaslighting myself right now does this guy like me or am i making it all up in my head we've all been in that situation where we are certain and we have this really deep gut instinct that this man is all about us he really likes us we know the effect that we have on him but he seems cold if you're in that situation or will find yourself in that situation stay tuned and i'll see you right after this One of the reasons a man may come across cold or seem cold even though you know that he likes you is because he may be scared that you are out of his league. There's some men and some men and you know I'd probably say most masculine men when they are dealing with a woman and she feels out of his league that is they feel like she might have more than him and she may want luxuries and certain things in life and she may enjoy certain things they just don't want to be the loser they don't want to be the guy who couldn't give that to you but it doesn't change the fact that his desire for you is at a hundred percent he's just holding himself back because he just doesn't want to be the loser I dated a guy once who I knew he was crazy about me, but every time it seems like we were trying to move forward, he would go 10 steps back. After we had a chat many months later, he said, to be honest with you, I was looking at my life and I was thinking, I don't know if she has the patience to deal with all the stuff that is going on in my personal life right now. I just wasn't in a position to really show up for you the way that I wanted to. So it was just easier for me to back off. Sometimes we might think, oh, it's just being a jerk, but or he's stringing me along, or he's just playing games. Sometimes a man is showing up cold or distant because he's really just trying to avoid looking like an idiot or looking incompetent or looking small in your eyes because the masculine man cares how he comes across to a woman. Another reason that he may be coming across cold is he may just be dealing with a lot of his own fears. His fears are in the driver's seat. He's had fears about his adequacy, his, his relevancy, his, um, how valid he is in the world at large. And sometimes some of us black swans have a way of shining so brightly that we can make a man feel like he's not quite there yet. It's not dissimilar from the first one, but for sure, when you are a black swan, you have your life together. You have your thoughts together. You are high worth, high self-esteem. And most men can pick up quite quickly that eh, I can't really mess with this girl. Can't really play the same tricks that I play on other women because she is way too high value. And what happens is all of his fears come to the surface, his fears of adequacy. Am I adequate? Will I be able to make it? Can she accept the truth? Can I be myself? And so in that regard, whilst his desire for you is at 100%, his fears are overwhelming them. And we will talk about what we need to do about this at the end. Sometimes a man desires you at 100% but knows there is no compatibility. I have shared this story before on this channel. For those of you who are new, I will share it again. And for those of you who've heard it, well, what's a good story if it's not shared twice? I remember in my early dating years, I was dating this fantastic guy. He had two children, I believe, tall, dark, handsome, fantastic job. Ooh, yummy we got on like a house on fire we really just got on we talked about everything geeky Lord of the Rings you name it it was a fantastic meetup 
and we had fantastic interactions. It was great. I loved dating this guy. Then all of a sudden, he went cold. He stopped responding to my messages so much and things got a little bit funny. Obviously, I was hurt because I was like, oh, why does this always happen to me? At the time, I really wasn't as savvy as I am now by any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, I decided I was going to pray about it and I was going to fast and God was going to tell me. And indeed, he did. I remember one afternoon when I was praying, God said, tomorrow at this time, I'm going to reveal to you why he went cold. I don't recommend doing this, but that's just the nature of my relationship with God, especially at that time. So same time at the following day, I got this text message from him and he was pretty much explaining. He said, I'm so sorry that I went cold on you or that I feel cold sometimes. It's just that I am everything that I've presented to you that I am. I am everything that I said I am, but I'm also something else. I have another dark side, another part of me that I just don't feel I could ask you to accept. He went on to explain that he is deeply into uh, BDSM, that's bondage, masochistic, submission, I don't know, one of those uh, kind of, um, you know, for those of you who don't know what it is, you can look it up online or, you know, he, he, he likes, you know, that kind of thing and leather and, and, and beatings and, you know, and he's also very much a swinger and he, that's just part of what he enjoys as part of his, you know, relationship with his woman. And he could tell that I was too pure of heart in order for him to, so he just decided to leave me to it because he didn't want to invite me into, into that life. I thought it was the sweetest thing and I was totally relieved, but I share the story to say that sometimes people know that you're just not compatible. You're compatible in one way, but not compatible in the way they need you to be compatible. Of course, I was very grateful that he was able to see that inside in me and know that it wasn't something that I would be interested in or dabble in personally. It's not for me, each to their own. But at the end of the day, I realized he saw it. He saw that we're just not compatible. And sometimes girls, we take things to heart because we're thinking, well, um, what's, what, what, what did I do wrong? Sometimes it's just his demons, his fears, his situation. And we just have to accept that it's making him what go What are you looking for? What do you bring to the table? Here's my number, he says, on the dating app. And you have to figure out what you're gonna do with that. What do you say when you really like him and want to be unforgettable on the app, at the party, in the moment? What do you say to set boundaries and standards in a high value, sassy, sexy way and still be taken seriously? What if I told you that we have created a 20 page downloadable PDF full of black swan scripts with exactly what to say to him for the unforgettable woman and it's available now. And if that wasn't enough, what if I told you that I'm giving away a free sample script version that you can use immediately for free? To get both the free version or full version, all you have to do is follow the link in my bio and become unforgettable. And last but definitely not least, because this conversation could go on for a while, he, he regards you as somebody who he sees very highly and he doesn't want to use you. Sometimes there are men who are just not relationship ready. They're not trying to wife anyone. They're not trying to do anything massive in a woman's life. They just want to have a good time. And then along their path, they meet a black swan. They meet a high value, high status and high worth woman. Oh, and they just cannot resist. It doesn't mean that they're low value. It just means that they're not at the stage in their lives where they want to commit, where they're trying to wife you or have a girlfriend, but they know that you are pure gold and they would rather just leave it alone. Of course, I have mentioned only the noble things. I've mentioned things that could be the case but sometimes they go cold because they found somebody better they prefer that girl because she's got better boobs or better whatever sometimes we make decisions that are just selfish and and hurtful to other people 
but often when you feel in your gut that this guy really likes me really likes me like i can't i can't be making it up in my head i'm a black swan i am a black swan i know the signals i know when a man is really into me and i know that guy is into me but he's just distant and cold when it comes to the crunch this is why i mentioned these four they're not the only four but i mentioned those four because sometimes we run into dark places in our heads now you're thinking thank you for explaining that chingy but what the hell do we do about it because i like him too like my desire for him is exactly the same place and i just don't want to let him go well there are three things that you can do one is to just let him be and let him work out his issues truth be told is trying to change a man from cold or to deal with his fears puts you in a very bad situation where you're gonna have to uh you know fight for him and and, and you know just it, it can get so so messy when somebody is just not at that place because you will end up getting hot cold hot cold and then that can become quite toxic and unhealthy for you so the best possible solution is to let it be let it rest and just cut off communication and give you attention to men that are relationship ready that are ready to show up for you easier said than done girls i know i know you've gone around the whole internet and that's what you've been told just leave it alone let him go just let that energy release that energy from your life this is the only true way to really get that closure it is the hardest way however because sometimes it leaves us with a few questions especially when a month later we see that same guy holding hands with some other girl and you're thinking what the hell was that about the second thing that I recommend that you do is really give it some time and let him come to you. Maybe keep the conversation light. You don't have to cut it off completely, but this is really down to your emotional mastery. You really have to be honest with yourself about what you can handle emotionally. I had a client of mine and she, you know, the man was going hot and cold. I knew that he was totally into her, but I knew that he had some issues that he needed to work out. And she was really trying to maintain this friendship with him but the more she was doing that the more she was falling for him and so at some point i had to say to her look let's be honest about your emotional mastery let's be honest about your emotional resources can you really sustain this pace with this man and at the end of the day she said that she couldn't but some of us can some of us have that ability that capacity to have these kind of conversations whilst we're talking to other men as well and whilst we're dating other men we can keep him there can string him along a little bit allow himself to string himself along and maybe at some point something will jar him and he will have a personal awakening and he will have a personal moment um and and just basically just come out and be like you know what i i think i like this girl and i want to step it up that happens too <laughs> The third solution that I can give you is really for those super developed, advanced, black swan queens who have that emotional mastery and really just can communicate to men. This is stuff that is available to you on in the academy at blackswanrelationshipacademy.com. You will learn all of the skills when it comes to talking to a man and having emotional mastery. And if you cannot do it by yourself, by all means, call any of the coaches and we'll be happy to help you. This is the piece that is really about vulnerability and having a conversation with him. It is okay. And I know that's not something that we teach a lot because it's not something that I would recommend you doing without the guidance of a professional. But it is perfectly fine if you are grounded, if you are a black swan, if you have community and you have all of the resources that you need to really just send a message ask for a call and say hey i don't know what is going on but i can feel that you are really attracted to me and the feeling is mutual am i right he may say yes i am or well i don't know but let's say for instance you were right say well i would love to know why you go cold maybe Together we can come up with a solution maybe there's something that we can discuss and come up to a solution 
and see how he feels about that. Have a conversation because sometimes calling things from the unspoken into the spoken is really very effective. I remember once dating a gentleman who went cold and at the time I was like, <laughs> I am a blank swan queen and I don't do that. I don't chase men. And it wasn't really chasing, but I needed to understand and I know how to communicate and bring the nonverbal into the verbal space so that honest conversations can be had. Because quite frankly, the level that I date at, I don't really uh, mince words and I like things to be very, very clear because I have so much more to do with my life than be sort of wondering what a man is doing. So. I was really able to have a conversation with him and say to him, look, I really sense that you are into me, you, you're really into me, but, and, and am I right about that? He was like, yeah, absolutely, you're right about that. I was like, so what can I do to help us do better? What's going on here? And just by asking the question, I was really able to allow him to share in an open and honest way and he was able to explain his reasons and his reasons were very 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 valid why he had gone cold but i knew that i really was invested in him because he had the the emotional and the intellectual capacity to overcome that and i had the resources to help him overcome that so we were able to overcome that whole situation together and that end up becoming a very beautiful relationship the reality of it is sometimes we have to be vulnerable enough to ask the question and open things up to the conversation yes it takes bravery but it also takes wisdom i don't want you to take this step unless you've spoken to one of the coaches i don't want you to take this step until you have shared the story with an expert a coach who knows exactly how to help you word it because this step doesn't work for everyone all the time in fact it works for very few people because otherwise it may very well come across as chasing and it may very well come across as masculine needy or desperate and we don't ever want to come across that way so there are few mechanics that need to happen before the conversation is had there are few things that need to be worked out internally in you before the conversation is had because like I always say it is not what is said it's the place from which it is said it is a mental emotional and spiritual space of security and safety within yourself that when we say things that may otherwise be read as insecure they come across different so you have to do some work first before you take the third step I hope that this video was helpful and that you were able to better embrace why sometimes a man may go cold on you and feel a little bit more empowered as to how you're gonna get that situation back on track. If you need help with your personal situation, we're here for you at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. All you have to do is follow the link in the description box, go to Instagram and send a message. We will be here for you. We've got you, we've got your back and we love you so much. We look forward to seeing you and I definitely look forward to seeing you on my next video. In the meantime, take care of you. Love you lots. Bye-bye. Well done for coming to the end of this video. What I want to ask you is, what have you learned? What is your takeaway? And what are you going to start practicing right away? Those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look so i can have a look the coaches can have a look and i promise you we read every comment we may not be able to reply to every comment but we read all the comments and we want to see how you are growing and we will see you on the next video